Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. I am your narrator, Frank Avella. In this presentation, we're going to outline the most exciting classroom science teaching demonstrations you can do for your students. Now, uh, before I ever got a teaching job, I performed a demonstration as a college student for a group of high school students touring my school. It was an esterification process for the synthesis of banana oil. The students got to enjoy the wonderful fragrance and marveled at the entire process. As a high school teacher, elephant toothpaste is probably my most memorable demonstration. You take half a cup of hydrogen peroxide, a fourth a cup of dishwash soap, yeast, and some food coloring. Then watch this beautiful reaction take place. The potato gun lab and demonstration is common in many classrooms, but if you really want to impress your students, you can make what I call a potato bazooka, uh, one that shoots over 70 yards. The famous egg drop experiment learned from Mr. Benazeski, which is used to teach energy, Newton's law, and air resistance. Go to the highest point in the school, create some sort of a protection around the egg, and drop the egg from the top of the school. A Rube Goldberg machine is a complicated contraption to solve a simple problem. A marble hits a set of dominoes which falls onto a spoon which flings to a tree to feed the cat or something like that. The polyurethane foam experiment is often performed in middle school. Mix the two reactants with water. Carbon dioxide is produced and makes an enormous amount of foam. The foam eventually hardens and is put on display for students to view. The next demonstration, which most students have already seen, probably on social media, is the Mentos and Coke experiment. Now the secret to really making this work is you have to have the soda warm. It has to be hot. The heat increases the speed of a chemical reaction. Don't use cold soda. The super saturated solution, the super saturated ice solution or crystal tower is absolutely mesmerizing. You place a seed crystal on a plate and pour the sat super saturated solution onto the seed crystal and watch the liquid turn into a beautiful crystal tower of ice. Uh, the egg in the bottle demonstration is kind of a magic trick. Um, you will need a milk bottle and show that an egg cannot fit into the bottle. Then say you're gonna put the egg in the bottle. All you do is place some matches into the bottom of the bottle and quickly place the egg on top. The soda can crusher is an inexpensive demonstration on air pressure. Pour a little water into an empty soda can, heat the can for 30 seconds, use tongs and quickly dip the can open side first into a bowl with ice water. The can gets crushed. For high school students, use dirty water to be distilled to clean water. Set up the distillation apparatus, which is what the kids will find most interesting. The next demonstration actually takes quite a bit of time, but it's definitely effective and serves a healthy purpose. All you have to do is take a penny, put it in a cup of soda, and wait about 10 days, and the penny will completely dissolve. You talk about a great way to show kids the danger of too much sugar, here it is. The carbon snake is a chemistry demonstration of a very fast and violent reaction of dehydration of sugar. In a beaker, fill it halfway with sugar and add sulfuric acid and watch the black snake grow. A nylon synthesis is an excellent demonstration and not very well known either. Use a 1,6 hexane diamine and sebulchol and chloride in a beaker. Use a paper clip to pull one strand of nylon from the solution. That nylon will stretch forever and ever and ever and ever it feels. Flame tests are used to identify the presence of certain metal ions. Different metal ions emit different colors when placed over time. Simply get a small lab spatula, place powdered samples over the flames, and you'll get to see fireworks. A clock reaction is very cool. A little bit of patience is required by the students, but the payoff is well worth it. The clock reaction is in actuality an iodine reaction, where the iodine is reduced, but the reaction is delayed and occurs spontaneously. In an instant, bam, like that, it turns deep black. Very cool. Acetone and styrofoam combination. The only thing else you really need is a beaker. Pour the acetone in the beaker and then you add enormous amounts of styrofoam and watch it all dissolve in the acetone. Tell your students you're going to fit a whole bunch of styrofoam into this little beaker and they won't believe it'll happen, but it does. Lastly, a chemiluminescent. You can get yourself a glow stick which is constructed in a way that when you snap the glow stick, both chemical parts mix together and it makes a fabulous glow. What you do is you separate both liquids and then mix them together in a petri dish and you'll see a beautiful bright green. Make sure you turn the lights off too when you do this demonstration. Anyway, uh, right now I want to say thank you for your time. Please check the description for uh, science teacher resources. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please like and share the video as well.